Our next Stardom Sidem, guys, is brought to you by iShares. iShares, inspired to build, starts and sits at running back first in standard formats. Mr. Eisenberg, your start of the week, regardless of position, Seattle's Thomas Rawls. Love the opportunity he's going to get without ProSize in there. I hope they continue to throw him the ball. I can't imagine that they're going to use Alex Collins in that role. So we saw last week that he had three catches, and I think any time this guy's getting catches on top of what he's going to do carrying the ball, I think he's going to be successful. I think Seattle wins the game. I think he's killing the clock at the end of the game. Opportunity to score. He's got a good track record with 50 or more carries. Terrence West, I think, is facing... I said it again, Terrence West. Terrence <laughs> West. It's because Heath's sitting up here. <laughs> yes. Terrence West is facing, I think, a beaten and probably uninterested at this point Bengals team because they know they're not going to win and they're going to struggle in Baltimore. And West, we saw last week, still a little bit better than Kenneth Dixon. I think Dixon's actually a good sleeper this week if you're stuck at running back. But West Kenneth still getting... Dixon? Kenneth Dixon, yes. Uh, he's still getting the majority of carries there, and I think this is a week where he finds the end zone and maybe both guys have an opportunity to help your fantasy. What about Rashad Jennings? <laughs> Rashad Jennings, look, the last two games he's been really good. In Cleveland, yeah. as we know, they're bad. So Jennings is going to still be the lead running back there. Paul, Paul, what, what's wrong with me? Paul Perkins, <laughs> Paul Perkins is not going to be you a factor. you got pork on the brain. Pork, pork, pork Palkins? <laughs> Paul Perkins is not going to be a factor. You're going to see and Rashad pork Jennings. And Palkins, great start Very today. safe number two running back, and I think I, it must be. I, I love Rawls and Jennings. I'm going to get bold again. I think this is the week that Dixon outscores I hope so. Terrence West. But they talked before last week how they wanted to get him more involved, and then people saw the six carries, and they said, what? why do you only get six carries? Well, they only ran the ball 14 times because they were playing from behind. They're going to run it 25-plus times. Agree with Jamie, this Bengals defense, they're going to quit. I'm sitting on the set with two guys that know more than I do about this particular subject. How is Rashad Jennings getting it done in the manner that he's doing it with the Giants down, their best offensive lineman? Well, Pugh's going to play this week, too, so that's a big boost for that offense. Like, the last two weeks, though, he's been pretty, pretty good without Pew. They, they played, you know, a bad Bears team. And so that was certainly helpful. And they got ahead of Cincinnati, and they were able to just sit on the lead. And really, most of the production came in the fourth quarter. It wasn't like he was running through them in the first three quarters of the game. So he's just looked better and gotten the work. And that's kind of what leads to a lot of these running backs playing well. I thought you were going to ask, how has Rashad Jennings held off Paul Perkins? And that's because Paul Perkins has no clue Poor who Hawkins. to block in the passing game. N none at all. All right, now running back starts in PPR. Heath, you're liking Todd Gurley to pick he left off last week. We're going to see Todd Gurley have the week that his owners have been waiting for for like three months. He's going to run all over that Saints defense. Better than he was last week? Better than he was last week. I apparently, I apparently ran through the stop yeah. sign. We, we skipped James Speaking Starks. So James, let's go back to you here. Here by James Starks on your bench this week. It's just been a little fluky how he scored. Two receiving touchdowns. I don't want to bank on that. He hasn't had a lot of work, and I think they're going to be in a situation where they're chasing points as usual because their defense stinks. And so he's going to have to score. Maybe he does. And I don't think he's like a slam dunk sit, like you just got to get away from him. But he's more of a number three flex guy than he is a, a must-start option. And he said it. it's not a bad week for running backs. And so when you see these three names, these are three premier names. I don't think you're just all of a sudden saying, I'm sitting Doug Martin. But if you have better options, like Rashad Jennings, for example, you're starting him over those guys.